Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is my video on the review of the Microsoft Surface RT. I made this PowerPoint on the Surface actually, and then we're gonna look at it together. So here's the overview of what the video is going to be like. First, we're gonna talk about the specs, then the performance in office gaming browsing, then what I like about it, what needs to be worked on and what I absolutely don't like about it. And then obviously the conclusion at the end. So when looking at the overall specs of the RT, I think it's a very well-made tablet. It comes with its own kickstand, which is a priceless feature. Um, but going into the port side, so you have your charging port right here, your USB port right here, your micro HDMI port right here, the one speaker is on this side, the other is here, and then you have the headphone jack, sorry I don't know if you guys can see that or not, uh, the headphone jack's right there. The volume up, volume down on the bottom is the magnetic port where you can attach Microsoft's uh, proprietary keyboard front and back cameras obviously and then the window start button. Gorilla Glass 2.0 is uh, what's on the, the glass itself but other, uh, overall a very impressive tablet and if you see from the specs you have that it has the Nvidia Tegra 3 quad core processor, 2 gigs of RAM, uh, oh yeah the micro SD slot is also right behind the kickstand here. I don't know if you guys can see that barely but it's right there. USB 2.0 port showed you guys that one, magnetic charging port, uh, the casing, the metallic casing on the back is called a Vapor MG case, does have a kickstand which is really nice, front and rear camera like I said, and then Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. So overall very impressive tablet I think. Uh, what I like about this tablet the best is its overall performance in office and web browsing. Uh, the gaming section was okay. But going into this, this is kind of like where the highlight of the video goes. So this RT tablet, what I love about this is you can attach a keyboard to it. Um, any USB keyboard is usually fine. I prefer the Logitech K400 series because this one has a mouse and the keyboard, obviously. I put my names on everything because I take this stuff to work and I don't want people taking it. Well, obviously with the Logitech, you got the unified receiver which you can just plug in to the tablet here and that allows you to go back and forth on your PowerPoints as well. A little delay but uh, it just has to load. Another thing about it is is uh, you can take this USB port attach a hub to it. So if I get my, if I go to the hub right here again name because uh, I use it at work but you little regular 4.0 USB hub. Um, I'll take this out. I'll put this unified receiver in here. So now I have the unified receiver in. But also, I could plug in this Microsoft 360 controller adapter right into the hub and then I have a gaming controller for the Surface as well. So with just one port I was managed to extend it and attach keyboard, mouse and the controller. Actually one more cool thing is the Logitech Unified Receivers. These can be programmed to connect more than one Logitech device in one. So what I did was I connected this to a different computer that had the unifying software. You cannot get the unifying software on the Surface because you cannot install legacy apps. But uh, I programmed the receiver here on a different computer to sync with another mouse. So again with that one receiver I have my keyboard but also the MX Revolution, uh, I'm sorry the MX Performance mouse that I've connected as well. And then obviously you see here the mouse works. So pretty easy. That's one thing I like about it because let's say once we get oops, sorry. Let's 
So doing Office on the touch screen um, is very hard. So obviously I, I either have my um, K400 with me where I can do, use the keyboard to type documents or do PowerPoints in this case. So that's very useful there. For Word, it's also very useful. And Excel as well. All the Office uh, programs, especially OneNote. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm going to try typing. Hello, I am typing on the K400 for this video. Um, it's very responsive, obviously, um, and it works very well. Personally, I like it better than the, uh, what do you call it, the, the touch keyboard that Microsoft makes. Because with this kind of keyboard, you're not fixed to one position. Um, the Surface keyboard you have to attach magnetically and then it connects to the port and then you're just kind of limited to where the keyboard is and also it's very crammed versus uh, this keyboard right here you can move whichever position you want and be however far you need to be and type comfortably um, and there's a reason why Microsoft makes a wireless adapter for their touch keyboard and their type keyboard as well because um, people enjoy this kind of freedom so personally um, I saved myself 80 bucks and went with this keyboard it retails for $39 originally but frequently goes on sale for $19.99 so it'd be a good idea if you want to surface or if you're planning to get one to invest in one of these so and then also um, I have that too as well so that's the office portion. I'm sorry, one more thing is uh, kind of like a normal Windows computer. You can multitask. So let's say I have the Word document up here. I can pull up Internet Explorer. Oh, it's very hard for you guys to see, isn't it? So I have Internet Explorer and Word. And I have those cascading so I can research and type if I need to. but it's very easy to do so on this tablet versus you know an iPad or a Galaxy tab it would be a little harder to multitask at this uh, this freely actually so anyways going back here um, again browsing great what I like about the the browser is the actual desktop browser you have on the surface so instead of you in a mobilized version of a website you actually get the actual version. So one benefit for me here is I like to go to ESPN3.com. Obviously, if you do that on a tablet, it's not going to show up the same because I, uh, one, the flash is not supported. So when I like to watch soccer, let's just go to replays here so we can get something going. Let's see. I guess really any of them will do because I'm just trying to demo the video. By the way, you do have to have a subscription to this to watch it, and I already do, so I like to take advantage of that. Looks like it's about to load. Sorry, I guess my internet's a little slower than I thought it is. Once it loads, though, it's pretty, pretty fluid. A complete guide to Maker's 46 cocktails. Maker's 46 cocktails. Maker's 46 on the rocks. Thank you for your time. Oh, uh, this is probably not a good advertisement, but uh, apologize about that. It's pretty good though. I mean, you could stream video from the browser, which not a lot of tablets can. That's what I love about this. And you can watch in full screen HD and really does have no lag at all. So browsing wise, that is the biggest benefit. Plus if you want to play flash games online, 
you can do that as well. There is just a, it's a desktop version of the internet, so you're getting the full experience basically. So I like that as well. Uh, we're going to go into the gaming portion, which is uh, the area where this gets tested the most. Um, I did have a game ready for you guys. That's the uh, Game Lofts Dungeon Hunters 4. I'm going to be playing that with the Xbox controller. So keep in mind, still have this connected. Uh, Xbox 360 controller has been detected. Do you want to use it? Yes, I do want to use it. By the way, you can still game with the mouse and keyboard for specific games as well. But I'm going to use the Xbox 360 controller. Um, I guess I'm still using my mouse for this. Uh, bear with me. I haven't really played this game a lot. But I'm going to try playing it. Yes. It's going to take a second and then it's going to load again. There it goes. So here it is. Um, I'm not very good at this game, so bear with me. I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I guess I don't know how I open this. Do I just click on it? Anyways, the game is very responsive and you can play pretty well. Um, how you play depends on obviously how good you at, you are at games and I am not very good. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Fire, firestorm. Oh, fire. Bitch. Level up. Cool. But yeah, obviously, um, I beat the bad guy, so that's cool. But uh, also, the Xbox 360 controller works, or I, I believe any direct input controller works, as long as the driver is uh, supported by the operating system. So that's uh, that's good there. Let's go back to our slideshow. Um, So yep, uh, office, great, browsing, great, gaming, it's okay. I mean, but again, that's because I suck at it, so I, it could be different for someone else. Um, so what I like about this tablet, we're going to take a look at here. I'm try to zoom it in for you guys. Um, great for office work really um, <laughs> for so for students or for people who need office constantly at work like uh, my company um, we constantly do reports on word and spreadsheets on Excel it's the real deal you get the actual version of office not like uh, pages which you have to purchase differently with the iOS devices or you know Polaris that comes on some of the Samsung devices this is the actual office suite you're getting here so really good on that part um, great for browsing webs, like I mentioned, uh, when, especially when they have flash. Good overall performance, so no lags, really snappy, um, which is surprising for a, a Windows operating system computer because we know that those can lag uh, after a while, but this one has been going good. Uh, long battery life, so I just charge it maybe once every two days, and it lasts me through two days pretty much. <laughs> um, the price for being a little less expensive than the iPad. I, feel, I believe you get more of a tablet for your buck in this case. Again, it varies on particular people because you may have all Apple devices or all Samsung devices, um, but for general, going in general um, device per buck, I believe that the Surface gives you the best value. Uh, the kickstand is a very important feature, I think, because for the iPads or the Galaxies, they are just like this. Um, so you have to buy a separate case or some uh, or a prop to keep it angled. Whereas this one, you just have the kickstand. Oops, I'm trying to do this one here. And 
then um, we have that. Uh oh, what's going on here? Sorry about that, technical issues. There we go. Um, another thing I like about this is the magnetic charger. So I'm surprised no other tablet company has gone with this yet. Um, but if you have this charging and if it falls or someone steps on it, the charging port breaks and then the motherboard pretty much um, is going to go bad. So you're either going to need a new device or get it replaced for a very expensive cost. The magnetic stand just helps it detach very easily, which I like a lot. Um, and I think, again, this has some advantage over the mobile operating systems, especially for ESPN3, um, streaming websites, etc. So things to work on, cameras, front facing camera, rear facing camera, they both kind of stink. Um, nothing impressive, no good quality, just pretty standard thing that's a highlight that Microsoft would need to work on for the next generations of surfaces or any other device that they plan on releasing with the RT operating system. App support, so Microsoft is pretty new to this tablet world. I would assume, and then the, they're lacking in some of the the apps. They're getting more and more every day, but still not a lot compared to the other operating systems for Android and iOS. NFC would be nice, easy pairing. Speakers are pretty bad on these. They're not loud at all. So um, if you're in a louder environment, you want to invest in a pair of headphones, or I have the LG Tones, which are Bluetooth headsets, um, and they work pretty well. So and then transition to the mobile market. So like I said, um, this is probably one of their first tablets, first generation tablets, so they have a lot of work to do on this one. Dislikes, no legacy support software, so that's right. If you need third-party software or your company uses proprietary software that runs on x86 or x64 operating systems, this will not work for you because you cannot install those. Now you can get an emulator and try, but I don't think that has 8.1 support, which um, the latest version is now 8.1 for the operating system. And the bezel is very thick. Um, so uh, the tablets, they're usually lighter, but this one's heavier because of the, the bezel. And also, if you see the front bezel, it's pretty thick. If it was thinner, it'd be nice, but yeah. Otherwise, my conclusion is is that um, it's a very good device, and I think you should invest in it. So let me know what you think about the video, guys. Let me know what your experiences are, and uh, yeah, if you have questions, just leave them. If you have any comments or concerns, leave those as well. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a nice day. Bye.